Irish Dynamics is excited to announce a new feature for our Orca Series motors, PWM Control. This feature enables Orca motors to be controlled using standard pulse width modulation or PWM signals, making high precision linear motion as simple as operating an RC car. This opens up new applications in countless use cases, such as in autonomous and semi-autonomous vehicles, remote control and teleoperation, embedded systems, robotics, and more. Orca series motors accept 12 to 60 volts DC, making them ideal for operation from batteries or directly from a vehicle's electrical system. The PWM interface is perhaps one of the most simple interfaces that you could use to control linear access. Linear motors are traditionally quite complicated to set up, and that's why we've come up with the PWM interface for our Orcas. It's a small PCB that attaches to the end of the motor data cable. From there, you can use it to communicate with any PWM-enabled RC receiver, drone control, or robotics platform. The interface PCB connects to the motor using an RJ45 connector on the data cable. Though no connection to iris controls is required during operation of your Orca motor, iris controls can be used to apply necessary settings. Here's how to enter PWM mode in iris controls. By typing PWM into the console, it will take you to this page. Here you can reset the timeout period. That's how many milliseconds between pulses that will make the motor time out and enter a communication error state. The motor will handle pulse signals between 40 Hz and 400 Hz. You can change the filter constant, which will adjust the low pass filter on the position commands. You can also change the minimum and maximum position limits of the motor. By adjusting your servo control type, you can select the range of your pulse width. To get started, you can click Enable PWM, which will update the normalized pulse width and position command. We can see this updating now from the position and kinematics page. If you want to set your motor up to start by zeroing itself when entering PWM mode, change the zero negative position to auto zero on boot. Set your desired max force and shaft speed and set the exit mode to pulse width. Don't forget to hit save after. To learn more about Iris's new developments with PWM signals and our Orca motors, visit our website linked below. Contact our sales team today to request a quote on your Orca motor.